Today on the Beers TV 52 FAQ, which came first, the rock or the sand? Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of the Beers TV 52 FAQ, where each week we answer some of your most common reef tank related questions. This week we're answering Rob Vern's question, why don't you put the sand in first so the rock doesn't contact the glass directly? And his secondary question, would it be safe to put something between the glass and the rock, like lighting crate? The quickest answer to this is I've been doing this a long time. Talked to thousands of reefers and I've never run into anyone who's had the rock break the bottom of their tank before, so I wouldn't let this keep you up at night. I'm sure it happens from time to time and you should be aware of the possibility, but it's not a very common occurrence as long as you're not completely reckless and something probably related to a fairly rare accident. In the event of your rock structure completely falling apart in a rock avalanche, it's doing so underwater, which is slower, and the sand is likely going to absorb the blow pretty significantly. It's really the side panels of the glass that are at risk in cases like that. So if you're concerned about this, 99% of your focus should be on building a stable structure. The reason why most people put the rock in first is because it allows you to build a stable structure directly on the glass, which will stay put and then pour your sand in around it. Building a stable structure is probably the number one thing you can do to protect all the panes of glass. If you put the sand in first, a rock will be resting in the sand, which will eventually settle out at various times throughout the tank and can cause instability for the rock work, particularly if the only thing holding it together is some careful stacking. So if you insist on putting the rock on top of the sand, I'd make sure to use some epoxy or even drill some rods to keep everything in place regardless of any shifts. Many reefers will put the sand in first and then shift the rock around until it hits the glass, which is a hybrid solution and a bit safer, but I'd strongly recommend just putting the rock in first and pouring the sand around the stable structure. So what about putting something on the glass to protect it? I've seen many reefers use egg crate for that purpose with mixed results. Works well for some, but depending on the flow and sand depth, half the time you're likely going to see the egg crate at the bottom and it isn't visually appealing. I think it's also going to cause some issues for the beneficial microfauna and other elements which turn the sand over to keep it clean and free of detritus. Cleaning sand in the egg crate bottom is just a lot harder. However, there are other options. I know as part of the Phantom Bottom, Felix at Reef Savvy uses a high impact ABS liner and a silicone layer beneath which absorbs the impacts from falling rocks. I think this type of thing is particularly valuable if you're planning on going bare bottom. If you have a more typical type of tank and interested in putting in a protective liner, I'm sure you could contact a local plastic shop and pick up a sheet of black ABS or similar type of plastic liner and silicone that in yourself. Bare bottom reefers commonly use HDPE or high density polyethylene products like starboard, seaboard or cutting board material. This could also certainly be used under the sand as well. Some options might not look quite as refined as others, but they'll likely serve the same purpose. This is where we want to hear from you in our Reef to Reef thread. How do you protect the glass in your tank? What are your tips for fellow reefers? And if you want to know what others are doing, check out the thread pinned down below. As always, if you find these types of videos fun and interesting, give us a quick thumbs up and subscribe because we release new reefing videos each week. See you next week with another BRS TV 52 FAQ.